Long enough to cover the subject and short enough to keep it interesting. Welcome to Out Up My League. I'm Nick Diaz. So Roy Williams just retired from North Carolina basketball, and Chris Beard just left Texas Tech for his alma mater, Texas. Now my question is, they couldn't have announced this on March 31st or April 2nd? I mean, do they know what day it is? But no, it's not a prank. It's Reporters came out and said, no, we tr- trust me, this is not a prank, it's real. This is actually happening. Both these things. But now it got me thinking, though. What is the best job in college basketball? I mean, some would argue UNC is the best college basketball job. Now, maybe it's just uh, they're just saying that because it's the most recent job, great job to come open. But I usually hate these arguments because at the end of the day, I always go back to this. Whoever has the better coach has the best job. If you don't have a great driver... I don't really care about your engine. In football, if you have, uh, in football, for example, you have just as, as good of a chance to win a national championship at Florida as you do Texas. All right. Now, maybe Texas has more money and better facilities than Florida does, but you can win multiple national titles at Florida and Texas. It's you're splitting hairs at that point. So, could I argue Texas is a better job than Florida in football? Sure, but. You can win at both. Who cares? If you have a better coach, that team's going to be better. That program's going to be better. But basketball is different because you can win a national title at almost anywhere if you have a great coach. In football, not so much. So, for example, look at Gonzaga. Gonzaga, you know, they don't have a huge fan base. They don't have huge finances, although they do pony up for basketball. And uh, they don't have great tradition. Now, the reason why it's easier to get uh, talent in basketball and why almost anyone can win it in basketball is because you only need two or three players to make a team a championship contender. In football, you need all 22 per recruiting class to have a great roster year after year after year. Well, that's harder to do. That's why recruiting base matters more in football. It's easier to convince uh, two or three college kids or high school recruits to move across the country than it is to find 22 to 25 scholarship players coming out of high school to move across the country, away from their families, away from their home, where their parents maybe aren't in driving distance. So, I want to ask, is North Carolina the best job in college basketball? Let's play a game to find out. So I narrowed it down to seven teams. North Carolina, Duke, Kansas, Kentucky, UCLA, Indiana, and Louisville. Now, since we're in college, I'm going to give out some grades. A plus to F minus. Now, none of them are going to have F minus. Most of them are going to have A's and B's. But here are the biggest criteria for the best college jobs in America. There are four criteria. I'm going to rank each one. Number four, tradition. Do you have tradition? It's not everything, but it helps. Three, recruiting base. Also not as important as it is in football. As I said, easier to convince two or three players in a recruiting class to move far away from home than 22 to 25 players. But it's it's something. Number two, second most important thing, fan support. In basketball especially, but really all sports, it's very important because every kid wants to feel special. College basketball fans are more important to their team's success than even college football fans, I would argue, because the college basketball fans are on top of you in a closed uh, area. And number one, the most important thing for a college basketball success, the biggest, financial support. You don't have any resources, you have no chance to compete consistently. Again, Gonzaga doesn't have any of these other things, but they have a great coach, Number one, but they finally are pony ponying up financially. They're willing to pay more bucks to help their coach succeed. So let's go through the list. North Carolina, their tradition, A+. Recruiting base, A+. Great talent in the state of North Carolina. Fan support, A+. Financial support, I'd give it an A. They're not in the top five, but they're near the top ten. Pretty good, according to the 2008 study I saw. Duke, tradition, A+. Recruiting base, same as North Carolina's, A+. Fan support, A. Not an A+, but an A. Again, more people are North Carolina fans in that state. And it's a private school, and there's a little hatred for Duke. Uh, So, fan support, I'll give it an A. But not an A+. 
Financial support, A+. Plus. They have actually a bigger uh, spending budget than North Carolina does. Not by much, but just a little bit more. Kansas, their tradition, A++. Plus plus. They literally invented the sport of basketball. Recruiting base, eh, B. It's Their in-state recruiting is not great. Fan support, A+. Plus. Financial support, about the same as North Carolina's. They get an A. Kentucky, tradition, A+. Plus. So the winningest program in the history of college basketball recruiting base theirs is actually pretty bad it's it's b minus it's really not great which is a little surprising fan support a plus maybe the best financial support a plus plus they are number one budget in college basketball number one uh, spending budget in college basketball louisville their in-state rival tradition a minus you know not uh, they have three titles but it's definitely not an a plus uh, recruiting base, same, B-. minus. Fan support, A. You know, in Louisville, yeah, it's A+, plus, but all across the state, uh, not as much as Kentucky. So, it, that's, but it's a solid A within their within their city. Financial support, A+. Plus. Behind Kentucky, they're number two in financial resources. UCLA, tradition, A+. Plus. They have more titles than anyone, more Final Fours than anyone, and they have more tournament wins than everyone. Recruiting base, A+. Plus. They're in Los Angeles. Forget the whole state of California. They can just recruit within the uh, Los Angeles County area, and they can win a national championship. Fan support, B+, plus, uh, maybe a B. I mean, look, L.A. is not a great college sports town, but UCLA, you know, they've got a lot of uh, fans in there, especially for basketball, but B, B+. Plus. Financial support, again, they could, but they don't, so it's about a B+. Plus. They still make their coach fly commercial for recruiting. Eh, not great. So B+, plus for them in finances. And the last one, Indiana. Tradition, A+. Plus. It's it's the mecca of, of, of basketball. Recruiting base, A+. Plus. It's the mecca of the sport. If you think about high school basketball in Indiana, is bigger than Texas high school football is to Texas. It's, it's just ridiculous. Fan support. A plus, uh, only Kentucky, I would say, rivals Indiana. Financial support, A plus, they're number three. Indiana's number three behind Kentucky and Louisville. And the only reason why they probably aren't number one is because they've made some bad hires and haven't been as good as Louisville or Kentucky has been in the past several years. If they were, maybe Indiana would be number one. So, here's the final rankings. According to the Nick Diaz grading system, the top seven college basketball jobs are, you use the tiebreakers of importance of tradition, fan support, financial resources, recruiting base, with the grades I handed out. Number seven, UCLA. Sixth best job, Louisville. Fifth best job, Kansas. The fourth best job, Duke. The third best job, Kentucky. Here's two and one. Number two is North Carolina, and number one is Indiana. Now, but they haven't been as good as North Carolina has. I don't care. You know what Indiana basketball is? Indiana basketball is like Texas football. The only reason why they haven't been as good recently is because they keep making bad hires. They are A-plus in every single category you need on paper to be a successful job. Goes back to my original point, though. None of these things matter if you don't have a great coach. But if you do, these are the best. So, the best two jobs, Indiana and North Carolina, they are open. Indiana has just hired their guy recently. Now North Carolina is looking for theirs. But none of it matters if you don't have a great, great coach, all right? Uh, a great driver with a bad engine can beat a bad driver with a great engine, all right? If I'm, you know, if I'm racing a professional NASCAR driver and I'm driving you know, a brand new race car, and he's driving some old piece of shit, well, guess who's still probably going to have a pretty good chance of winning? You're probably going to place bet on the NASCAR driver to beat me, because I don't know shit about cars. Hire the right driver. Thanks for listening to Out of My League. If you like what you heard, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, or follow me on Twitter and Facebook in the description link below.